Okay, key to unpack driver. Ticket, she's not working. Can't even see the model. DTD, anyway. Looks like an unpacked wrench. Just with a hex holder. There it is there. DTD 156. That's not a brushless model. No, there's brushes in that. Might be worth fixing. Bearing. Destroyed the bearing. That's the shield. So she would have got hot. Let's see if I can find out what size it is. It's not destroyed the armature. So that would have been drawn a bit of power. That would have got hot. Generally when that happens, bearing fails. The machine still wants to keep going, so it'll just keep drawing more and more power. Eventually cook it, completely burn it out. Thermoset plastic, that's the good brush holder, so that won't melt. Brushes are not gone, but they're not good. So replace them. Why is it not running though? Even with that bad bearing, then brush it still sit around the machine. That's because Makita, and all their wisdom, put that on. A normal 35 amp car fuse. Good on you, Makita. Gone. As you can see it's popped actually. So that saved the motor. Bearing failed, drew too much power, popped the fuse. You have to remember that a lithium battery, like a 4 or 5 amp, or any lithium battery for that matter, they can draw up to 30 amps of current. It is enough to melt the armature. So Thank God for that wee fuse. This one might be worth fixing. Don't be tempted to cut these leads. Make sure you unsolder them because you may need the length. Always pre tun that actual fuse. Now, to get this bearing off, all you have to do is grind it down. Just till you're touching the shaft. That'll break the clamping hold. And it'll pull straight off. Best way to get it off because it's just too small for any sort of bearing pullers. So just replace it then with either a metal shield or rubber sealed 625 bearing. That's the problem sorted. Just also change the brushes. Your fuse back in place. Just 
tuck down in there. Will she work? Look at that. Sweet. <laughs> 